Then you recognize for a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. President. And my question is, uh, starts on page three. On line nine, we have a, a bullet there where, no pun intended, uh, which states that abortion is okay to remove an ectopic pregnancy. And can you explain to me why that exception is in there? Thank you for the question. This is language I didn't focus on too much. Oh, it's what abortion does not include. Uh, I cannot say why that particular language is in here, but to me it would be common sense to put that language in here. Senator Hamilton, you're recognized for a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. President. But a child who is, uh, in fact, uh, living out part of his or her uh, early life uh, as, a, as the unfortunate circumstance of being an ectopic pregnancy is, in fact, still a unique human being with its own DNA. And I wonder, I guess I just don't understand why we've created an exception where we allow those children uh, to be murdered, but not the others. Thank you for the question. We've provided very limited exceptions in this bill, but I can only speak to support of the bill's language. Senator Hamilton, you're recognized for a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the same, same kind of general gist on page four uh, remember, our goal is to protect unborn children. Uh, the implication or the, the unstated implication would be we want to protect unborn children except those who are the product of rape or incest or those who happen to be in an ectopic pregnancy. And I wonder how we square that with the idea of justice for all in that we're killing a person because his daddy was a rapist or an incestual creep.